Cross-dressing doesn't need to be limited to your house, or any kind of closed quarters. It's a way to express yourself, so with some confidence, you should be able to cross-dress on any occasion that you want, as long as you are comfortable with it, and dress up accordingly, in an appropriate manner. Of course, coming out as a cross-dresser or trans person helps a lot, in terms of presenting yourself publicly dressed up, but common sense about clothing is pretty much essential for you, to be able to avoid stares or unwanted attention in general. Here we'll be focusing on the outfits in general, and how to properly choose them for each occasion, in which you want to cross-dress. Number 1. Dressing up at home. Well, we've decided to start here, mainly because it's the easiest part, and an opportunity to practice, what you will do outside. Cross-dressing at home is basically the creative mode of cross-dressing, allowing you to try out, whatever you want to dress before you do so publicly. Any outfit can go here. From the most formal ones to the more intimate and sexy looks with lingerie or elaborate cleavages. Makeup is also up to you, not necessary unless you want to pass even at home, but if you plan to spend your day in women's clothes, just for the feeling of it, we would recommend going for more casual and comfortable outfits, as well as avoiding shapewear with too much compression, as it allows you to keep your looks for a longer time than you would. As for the outfit itself, you could pretty much use just some pretty underwear, to maximize both the comfort and feeling of femininity. But some other options with more coverage are camisoles, pajamas, and sweatpants. Number 2. According to the weather. Well, the thing here is to adapt your outfit, for the weather and climate of the occasion, so the applicability of certain garments might depend on your country or region. Let's start with hot weather, as it's more common during this time of the year. In this case, You'll probably want to apply moderate amounts of makeup, since it could melt off, if applied excessively, ruining all your work. In terms of outfit, go for something light, such as a light-colored dress or a tank top and a skirt. Depending on the thickness of your pantyhoses, you could use them to get an extra enhancement of your leg's silhouette. But we would recommend changing them, for knee-high socks or even shaving, for a higher level of comfort, and increase in your self-esteem. Also, shaving your legs might refresh them, and help you with the heat. Regarding shapewear, keep in mind that, warm weather is ideal to wear more revealing outfits, and if you plan to do so, get a silicone bodysuit to conceal it, or avoid shapewear in general. If you go for the first option, make sure to watch out for the compression and comfort, ensuring that you don't get too tired from enduring it. For colder weather, you can get really creative, as you'll be able to use a larger amount of outfits. Even if you can't wear something too revealing, a silicone breastplate can grant you stunning cleavage. And more robust types of shapewear, alongside some paddings, can grant you a silhouette curvy enough to compensate for the volume of the clothes. While leggings will do wonders to highlight and feminize your legs, as most of your body will be covered, you won't need to bother shaving as well. Number 3. Dressing up as a woman to work. This kind of situation can be a really delicate topic. Since cross-dressing can be some sort of taboo, depending on your workplace. Before anything, talk to your boss or to HR in advance, and make sure you are in an LGBTQIA friendly environment. It is better than suddenly showing up to work, presenting as a different gender, as it could create some sort of unrest, and surprise. Also, depending on how well you pass, you might be unrecognizable, and be mistaken for an outsider in your office. So it would be great, to carry some ID, and inform your superiors. Make sure to choose an outfit that fits your job, and avoid inappropriate stuff. Using bodysuits and breastplates, to enhance your silhouette is okay, but be moderate on your cleavage, and avoid anything too revealing. Shapewear shouldn't be too robust, it's better to choose something comfortable, and easy to conceal underneath your clothes. And it would be wise to choose a practical wig, because you don't want to walk around dropping hair all around, or getting it stuck in places, that could ruin your precious wig. Heels are good on formal occasions, but if you don't have too much practice with them, go for some flats, or non-heeled boots. Dresses and formal shirts are both okay, so it's up to you, and your personal preferences. Number 4. Hanging out with friends. These moments are meant for you, to socialize and have fun, but your outfit should also fit the place you are going to. If you and your friends plan to hang out at a mall or a pub, dress in a pretty way, with outfits as revealing, as you are comfortable with. Be creative with the makeup, experimenting with some vibrant colors, or even a more gothic look, with opposing tones of black and white. It's your time to shine, so don't be afraid to express yourself, the way you want. Use the shapewear of your preference, but we recommend finding a balance between compression and comfort, so you'll be able to look as curvy as possible, for the longest amount of time. 
at pool parties and beaches, the best you can do is, to combine your shapewear, with a silicone bodysuit, and a bikini, or swimsuit of your preference. Try to avoid diving though, as it can compromise both your makeup and your wig, depending on its quality. A workaround would be to choose a synthetic wig, and wash it immediately after you get out, so chlorine won't damage it. For the makeup, try waterproof ones, but make sure you have some makeup remover around, if anything goes wrong. Finally a little request to you. Share this video if this video really helps you to find any solution of your life. All we believe sharing is caring as well as you can help your friends to change their life by sharing this video. We also believe liking the video doesn't make any difference but it inspires us to provide better quality and content. We will consider the amount of like as we helped those people at least. Which type or topic video you are willing to see in the next video. Let us know in the comment below. Because helping you, is our main intention. The next video will be published next week. Subscribe and get connected with us to get many of these types of videos. More wisdom. More solutions. Better life.